What's up everyone? This is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. <clears throat> Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Destiny Rising. So right now you can play this game on your mobile phone, but you can also play on PC with the Mew Mew emulator. And honestly, it works great. You can even apply a uh, loose less skating and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, let's go to the settings. So <clears throat> in the effect, so first of all, the field of view, you have your first person and your third person. Uh, by default, it's at 85. If you add more, you need to understand that you're going to lose some FPS. Me and first person, I like to play at 104. So for sure, you're going to see it larger in front of you and you're going to lose a couple of FPS. So if you're struggling to uh, run the game, don't go too crazy with your FOV. Also, I want to mention if you want a, a clear uh, image without too much noise, for sure disable your motion blur, remove the screen shake. After that, we're going to go to the graphics section and over there, click custom. So first of all, you have your render quality. I recommend to play at I. This is a good compromise. Uh, you're going to save like 3% for each bracket. At standard, uh, the, the, the quality is pretty low, honestly. But if again, if you just want pure FPS or you're struggling to, to run the game, go with standard. But I is a good compromise in this game. For the frame rate, on my S25 Ultra, I is my maximum and is, is at 60 FPS. On PC, you can go until uh, 120. So again, I think the goal on Destiny Rising is to just use the maximum of the FPS that you can. So just select the maximum and after that, apply different setting to make sure that you, you are able to run it. Because uh, you want your game smooth, you want the less input lag, so this is pretty much it. For texture precision, if you have uh, this uh, option, I recommend to go with HD. Like any computer, you will not have any issue with it. Same thing with phone, so definitely go like that. If you're on PC and you want more than 120 FPS, right now I'm running at 240 with loose less scaling. You can't really see it, it's at top left of my uh, my screen, so I'm seeing my FPS, but with loose less scaling, you can't really capture it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you download the Loose, loose less scaling and it's some kind of like frame generation driver base a software base if we can say uh, I recommend to use the uh, latest version the 3.1 like that uh, mode fix multiplier I recommend to go multiply by 2 for your FPS when you go at 3 or 4 honestly you can really feel the input lag but at 2 it's really impressive honestly it's running well flow scale go with 100 and don't use the performance tab over there also, make sure that your max frame latency is at 1. And for the rest of it, it's pretty much like that. I'm not using any type of scaling. I'm just using the frame generation. And honestly, it's butter smooth. And I don't feel the input lag with my mouse and my keyboard. So this one can be huge if you want to double your FPS. For example, you don't have a really good PC. You're running it on an emulator at 60. With loose less, you will run it at 120. So a really cool feature that you can use. So that's about it, guys, for my uh, Destiny Ryzen guide. If you have any questions, just come in any YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. If you're playing on a phone, just tell me uh, what type of phone in your region. Because sometimes the CPU uh, will change in it. And I will try to help you the best I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.